Hello everyone, my name is Ronald Denicio and I'm the seventh grade social studies virtual content specialist. In this teacher facing video, I will talk about important considerations when launching unit five, a nation divided. For the purpose of this video, I will refer to the first lesson of unit five, launching the unit, but you can apply these strategies when launching any unit in person or virtually. In this video, I will walk you through the teacher facing document that was posted in last year's social studies drive, as well as the slide deck that I adapted from the teacher facing document. I will make sure to upload both of these documents so you have access to them. I will also walk you through the learning activities and important considerations for teaching this lesson remotely, as well as in person. Again, we will focus on unit five, day one, but the strategies discussed can be used for lots of different lessons in our curriculum. Here's the teacher facing document that was posted last year. It has the focus question, was the Civil War inevitable? The objective, students analyze an excerpt from an Abraham Lincoln speech to begin consideration of the unit's essential question. We have the next generation standards where we're asking students to cite specific text evidence to support analysis of primary and secondary sources. We'll be using the house divided excerpt, which I'll go over later. And you also have information pertaining to the introduction model part of the lesson, the independent work part of the lesson, guidance for check for understanding, and finally the wrap up. And I'll make sure to take the time to go through each of the components of the lesson individually. First, we will discuss the importance and rationale for launching the unit, which can be found on page 59 of the seventh grade unit five passport to social studies curriculum guide. Engaging students with the content to be studied is important. Making the content relevant to their personal lives or making a connection to how the learning can be used in a real world setting is one way to get the students hooked. Another effective hook is making students see the content as interesting and unusual by having them view the content from a different perspective. Launching the unit for your students involves engaging them in mental stretching activities and providing a hook for the content to be learned. Students are more interested and pay more attention to activities that are introduced in a way that engages them emotionally, intellectually, and socially. Launching a unit effectively can excite the students, giving them the motivational energy to want to make the best use of their learning time. Activities that get students to think divergently are important. Presenting far out theories, paradoxes, and incongruities to stimulate wonder and inquiry are extremely effective. For the introduction of mono slides, I'll share with the students that we are about to begin our study of the fifth and final unit this year, A Nation Divided. I'll share with them that during this unit, you will learn about the Civil War, ultimately considering the unit's essential question, was the Civil War inevitable, which you'll have a chance to, to answer at the end of this lesson for the wrap up. I'll also share with them the term or the word inevitable, which is unavoidable or certain to happen. I'll share with students during this time that we will begin the unit with a few lessons to build context around the causes of the Civil War, but that it is important to start the unit knowing that the Civil War was fought between two section of, sections of the United States, the Northern States and the Southern States. A way to launch the unit is to read an excerpt from Abraham Lincoln's famous House Divided speech that he gave on June 16th, 1858, in which he said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Students can read and respond to the excerpt from Lincoln's speech. They can discuss, discuss his arguments. Based on what he said in the speech, they can also discuss whether or not they think the Civil War was inevitable. Students can also interpret the quote, a house divided against itself cannot stand. You can see for the independent work directions I have for students, it says to read the house divided excerpt that was delivered by Abraham Lincoln on June 16th, 1858, on the day that he was nominated to run for president of the United States. And we've also included some guiding questions on the right hand side. What did Lincoln mean when he said a house divided against itself cannot stand? What can you infer about the state of the United States at the time that Lincoln gave the speech? And what questions do you have about the Civil War that you hope to have answered this unit? Synchronous and asynchronous strategies include flood the chat, breakout rooms, a text rendering strategy, a shared Google Doc, Padlet, and Jamboard. For Flood the Chat, you can have students, or I might ask students, for example, to type their responses into the chat box, but hold off pressing until the timer is off. I'll then set a timer for a few minutes, count down three, two, one, and then have students press enter at the same time. 
If I'm concerned about students holding their responses, I can temporarily close the public chat while they think. Breakout rooms are extremely helpful if I'm working virtually. Because um, if I'm trying to simulate a turn of talk like I would in the classroom, or if I want students to work collaboratively, I can have them meet in breakout rooms for five to 10 minutes. If they're analyzing the house divided excerpt, this is extremely helpful for students to use each other as resources to try to figure out what the excerpt means. I might have all rooms discuss each question, or I might differentiate breakout rooms by assigning a different part of the text to each breakout room, and then have a representative from each group share app. Finally, students will respond to the wrap-up question. At this point, how would you respond to the unit's essential question, was the Civil War inevitable? To prepare them for the wrap-up, you might ask students to draft their responses in their copy of their slides, and then copy and paste their responses to a Jamboard, Padlet, or a shared Google Doc. Having students' responses on these shared documents is a great example of how to memorialize student responses so that you can come back to them throughout the unit. As this lesson is a launch for the unit, students are encouraged to make inferences based off of the excerpt and what they may already know about the Civil War. Subsequent lessons will establish context and understanding for the themes introduced in this lesson. I hope these strategies we went over today were helpful. Give them a try the next time you launch a unit in social studies.